Welcome guys, this might be the most groundbreaking patch for PUBG since they introduced vaulting and ledge grab, because this game is now getting a proper revive system. Just like you can revive your teammates in Apex Legends, you can now do it in the pretty much same way in PUBG. And the way this system works is that when you die, you drop a blue chip. This is an item that needs to be brought to a blue chip tower or used with a blue chip transmitter item. And then you can be recalled back into the game. You'll then board a plane and enter the next phase. You'll drop out of this plane and be able to land right back with your teammates. You won't have any gear, but you'll get another blue chip, meaning that you can get revived multiple times despite being finished. This patch has a ton of information about this. And in my opinion, it's a bit information overload. All the details are in here, but instead of me reading this to you, let's just jump into a game where I tested out this feature for the first time with a couple of cool guys. Blue chip transmitter towers activated, okay. All right, uh, we have to test something. Uh, <laughs> wow, blue chip, insane. <laughs> I didn't even pick it up. I just jumped in the window and it acquired it for me. Okay, I'm gonna go um, recall you right away. Uh, yeah, can yeah. someone knock me in the car to see if you get dropped from the car or you stay inside? <laughs> this is so good. Oh man. Okay, let me see. Oh my god. What? <laughs> okay, that was pretty wild. Damn. That was pretty cool. Uh, you can steal their boot chips as well. So they can trust their teammate. Oh, sick. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's that's cool. Wow. So we didn't manage to find the blue chip transmitter, which is going to be a very strong item that you can find in the normal world as a normal spawn. This item here will allow you to recall your teammate despite not having any blue chip tower nearby. That's really, really strong. And I'm not sure how rare this item is going to be, but I reckon it might be pretty rare. Also, one thing to note about this is that this feature is unfortunately only available on Wrangle, Miramar, and Destin. So that means maps like Tego and Vikendi that already have some kind of revive system in the form of the Comeback BR, they won't get this feature yet and neither will the smaller maps. I'm sure that if this system is well received, we'll see this spread out to other maps in time, hopefully soon. And finally, I cannot really stress how big this is for the game because I'm already seeing a ton of people, big creators, a lot of players saying, hey, this might be worth coming back for. I don't like dying and not being able to rejoin my teammates. In the end, I think a system like this will still make the better teams win more often. I think this will increase the consistency of the better players because getting an unlucky death early on is not going to be as punishing since good teams will be able to recover more easily than the bad teams. So in any way, I think this is pretty fair. Yes, it is going to take away some tension of PUBG, but I don't think it's going to be that bad as some people might think. Next up, there's a pretty cool feature here that allow you to see your car on the minimap, just like your modern smartphone will show you where you park your car, the same will happen in the game in PUBG, which is definitely going to be a helpful little quality of life feature. And going from quality of life to not losing my life as often, there's now going to be a safe feature when you drive a car. That means if you're going faster than 60 kilometers per hour, where exiting the vehicle will kill you, you now have to wait three seconds to exit the vehicle. So if you press F while the vehicle is moving too fast, you won't jump out right away. And you can cancel this if you press F again within the first three seconds here. This is a feature that I welcome because I always felt it was kind of dumb that the game didn't have something like this. But if you don't like this, you can just disable it from the settings. And the way PUBG is handling a knocked player is now also changing in a few ways. If you move while knocked, you will bleed out faster. Pretty simple, as long as you're moving. That means also being carried, or if you're in a car while knocked, yes, we'll get to that, then you'll bleed out faster than if you're completely stationary and not moving. 
and about that i just said about being knocked inside a car yes if you are knocked you can be placed in a car a teammate or an enemy can pick you up and put you inside of a car Ambulance is here. Hmm. Yeah, that's nice. pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they can even put you in the driver's seat. And when you're in that car, you can transfer items to the trunk of the car. You can drop items on the ground and you can also exit the vehicle. That's basically what you can do. Remember that when you're in a car that's moving while knocked, then you'll bleed out faster. Of course, this feature will theoretically let you kidnap other players. Like you can knock an enemy, put them in your car and start driving off. They will be able to leave the car. It's going to take them three seconds from the moment they press F. And they might not want to do this because the car might have accelerated so much that they'll simply die by exiting. So you might see some hilarious moments where you're going to kidnap an enemy and just drive off with them. Of course, this feature is mostly meant for teammates to be brought away from danger quickly rather than having to revive them in the heat of the moment. And as for weapon balance, the Ace is getting a significant buff. The recoil doesn't change, but the screen shake of the Ace is being reduced. And from what I could feel in the game, this dramatically made the gun easier to use. Which is fortunate, since this is also the patch where my skins are arriving to the game. I'm getting an Ace 32 skin that looks beautiful, and a mini skin, and two item sets. Let me just show you this video in case you haven't seen it already. And apart from that, there's also going to be an emote. You know how I kind of like to make fun of people who wiggle too much in the game? That's what this emote is all about. Yeah, that right there was the way that this was recorded in real life by this actor. And I'm still myself yet to see how this looks in the actual game. The game is also getting a significant social feature. We're now getting a clan system. You can make your own clan. It's going to cost 15,000 BP, which I think is pretty fair. And then you can invite up to 100 members. There's going to be a clan master. You can make people managers, which is like an officer role that you know from MMOs. And then finally, there can be standard members. The clan will have a clan tag and a clan name and as you play you'll upgrade the clan the clan will level up it will get a fancier clan badge and also you can communicate with the teammates through the clan chat if you play with your teammates you'll also earn more bp and more xp so i think this is a cool way to promote team play this whole patch feels like a big boost to the social part of the game play with your teammates more often get rewarded and on top of that, you can revive your teammates more often. Lastly, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support over the years, because really, you're the reason that I got this amazing opportunity to be able to get my own PUBG skins. This is such a huge thing. I've gotten skins before, but this here is just something else. I must say this is massive. If you decide to buy my skins, then first of all, thank you. And also, if you do this, please use my creator code. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, I got, does anyone have an ace? In an ace? I need an ace. No. Oh, you do? Can, can I? Can I borrow it? You want? You want my? Yep. gonna see the uh, stability increase oh my god <laughs> okay i think ace might ace might be the best assault rifle now it feels so stable because they reduced the screen shake The screen shade makes it difficult 
to uh, control the recoil because it jumps around more. So it's like you, you, you make movements with your mouse based on visual cues. And when those visual cues are really, really bad because of screen shake, it's just more difficult to control it.